Hello folks, George Houghton here from Steelstown. I'm here with Paul here today, just about to ask him a few questions about uh, the current pre-season regime and up and coming games. So just turn it around to Paul here. How you doing Paul? How you doing George? Uh, just got a few questions here for you. So um, just want to ask you, what did you make uh, of the game on Sunday and do you think it's good preparation for the Ulster Senior League? Sunday was, was good to get a bit of football. Um, so obviously hard for, for managers they put two teams together just when, you know, mm-hmm. from amongst boys when mm-hmm. uh, you don't know if everybody's always going to be available on Sunday morning or if boys are maybe sick you know so I think he had to chop and change it but it was, it was definitely good conditions weren't great but um, I think everybody was glad to get a bit of football under their belts and uh, you know it's like you can't bet getting a ball through your hands this time mm-hmm. of day you know it's definitely change from, from all the physical going on and training that you know, teams are always doing this time mm-hmm. of day so Everybody looks forward to a bit of football on Sunday, but um, you know, uh, conditions weren't ideal. But I think there was still a lot of positives to come out of it. You know, a few of the younger players, uh, you know, showed they were they were definitely you know not that far off the pace, and um, a few boys maybe found out they were a wee bit off the pace, and they they were about to go yet. So, excellent. A couple of wee injuries, um, the boys like, but you know, that sort of thing can happen. Well, yeah. You know, no matter what sort of pitch you're on, so. Happy days. Two lads that got hurt it's not going to be too far away there. Good man, happy days. And uh, so, as someone who's always looked after himself physically, how are you finding the current uh, pre season regime? I find it good. Um, I'm actually sort of surprised myself this year. You know, uh, I'm a bit better condition than I thought it was going to be. Um, I maybe didn't get to use off season as much as I would have liked, mm-hmm. just because I had different things going on before Christmas and stuff and mm-hmm. you know maybe I didn't get the and the gym just as much as I would have hoped but no I'm finding it, find it alright personally I'm kind of pleasantly surprised I'm about you know over half a stone lighter than where I was at this time last year so I just want to build up this now I just want to make sure I don't get any niggle injuries mm-hmm. in the next two months and just build it up you know over, 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 the, over the full pre-season coming in the start of the league happy days good stuff and um, as club captain, do you feel the team has now got the mental toughness to give senior football a real rattle? I think so. I, I think it's starting to dawn on people, you know, what's involved. They can either mess about or they can, you know, knuckle down. So it gives the stage where boys who want to mess about will get left behind. Mm-hmm. Boys who want to give it a good rattle will. Yeah, knuckle down. I think this year of all years, people have to, you know, give it the full, full commitment. Full, mm-hmm. You know, if they don't test themselves, then you know, it don't not count. Yeah. So um, people talk about mel- mental toughness and I think last year there was a number of matches where we, you know, we dug deep and we, mm-hmm. we showed, you know, so um, hopefully we have a full complement of players this year, you know, we'll be able mm-hmm. to, we'll, you know, we'll be able to give a good account of ourselves. Excellent, happy days. Um, and what advice can you offer to the young Asperian and Brian Oaks players who are on the brink of making the coveted senior panel? Well, there's a few boys there and, you know, Every year there's a few that break through, break, break through and mm. the start of the year they mightn't necessarily think that, you know, they have a chance, but they all do, like, you know, mm-hmm. there's always room for, you know, a 17 or 18 year old in the, in the team if they show the right talent and the right, you know, uh, the, you know, the right ability and, and commitment. Like last year there was the likes of Mark Brennan and, mm-hmm. and BJ, mm-hmm. really, really did well at the start of the season, you know. Mm-hmm. Um, you know, there was goals going on from Mark and BJ was as sticky as you could get as a marker. So mm-hmm. there's always room, especially early in the, early in the season, they, they put down a marker. And, mm-hmm. You know, once someone's in, it's hard for a more established player, maybe who's come back from injury or, yeah. um, you know, who hasn't been as fit mm-hmm. to get that place off them. So there, there's always there's always places there for them, you know. Yeah. Um, it'd be great to see because the young players come on and always you know, bring a good Definitely. energy, you know. Mm-hmm. Um, they have no hang-ups. Mm-hmm. You know, like walk a bit better if you were coming out of minors at the minute. Definitely, yeah. Um, than going into senior football, like you know, when, yeah. we, when we were coming out of minors, we were <laughs> junior football, like so. Yeah. You know, it's a big it's opportunity. A, a big opportunity, and mm-hmm. I hope you know some of them appreciate it, like you know. Excellent. And uh, final question: uh, What are your aspirations for the season ahead? 